Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. Now for this week's tutorial, we are going to be decorating the Terry's Chocolate Orange as a Princess Carriage. Remember, these make excellent alternative cake toppers and due to the cost of living crisis we are all facing, this is a great one for any moms considering making their own child's birthday cake this year. As always, Everything you need to know in a simple step-by-step -step format. The only moulds used are to add the extra detail. However, the majority of this can be done without any moulds in your collection. So again, excellent for a beginner baker. Let's make a start guys and I do hope I help you again today. Start by unwrapping a Terry's chocolate orange and place this directly onto some baking paper. Using some liquid glucose, simply brush this over your Terry's chocolate orange. This will give something for the fondant to stick to. Roll out exactly 150 gram of fondant, trying to keep this in a circular shape. Carefully place this directly over your covered Terry's chocolate orange, negotiating the pleats from the top to the bottom. I then smooth this out just a little bit more using a flexible smoother by Squire's Kitchen. However, this is not an essential piece of equipment, so don't worry if you don't own one. Simply cut away any excess fondant and then you want to simply take a cocktail stick and place in some indentations to make it a bit more pumpkin-like and add some definition. So it looks like this. For the windows, simply cut out two circles of pink fondant, two white heart shapes and round them off with the circle cutter. Glue these into place with some edible glue. And for the curtains, taking two smaller heart shapes, this time in blue, I simply fold them over and stick into place. Repeat this with the other curtain. The small balls around each window can be done by hand, so this is not essential but this will speed up the process. I'm using the four millimeter string of pearls pinch pro by marvelous mold. So this is how I used mine. I started by dusting it down with some icing sugar. I found because it was so intricate and detailed using a pastry brush made that more easy. I rolled out a sausage shape and simply placed it in the center and cut off the excess. And then when I had left it to set for a short while, I simply peeled it away. It really is as easy as that. I then apply one of these to each window. Remember, you can roll all of these balls by hand. Now we need a base for the princess carriage. This fondant is just over a centimetre thick. It will set if left long enough. And then simply place your princess carriage directly on top in the centre and glue into place. Using some edible glue, simply add the windows to the front and the back of the prince's carriage. These have been left overnight to set and the base will help support them. You now need to create four sausage shapes equal in length and thickness and simply curl them at the end. Repeat this for the others. This is to add extra support. You will be then adding these to the carriage. I've already added three of them here. I'm going to show you how to add the final one. I simply place on some edible glue and this also goes just behind the actual window and acts as another support. Now the wheels are left to set overnight. So all I have done is cut out four round circles of fondant and then simply add a sausage shape directly to the top. For the sides of the carriage, here I have modelling paste and you just want to cut out two small rectangular shapes the size of the Terry's Chocolate Orange and leave this to set for a minimum of 24 hours. Everything has been left to set overnight. First apply the sides of the carriage and then use some extra fondant and edible glue to apply each of the wheels. Finally, if you do own any moulds, simply find some patterns you like and apply them. I then use a completely edible metallic paint by Rainbow Dust and gradually paint each feature. It really is as simple and easy as that. You do not need the moulds. And remember, around the carriage window, you can just use handmade balls. Happy baking, everyone. I really do hope I have helped you again today. And I'll be back 
soon with an awful lot more new, completely free content.